Tim Fraser, welcome to sunny Wales. Thanks for making the trip over. You've been here about a week now. How are you finding the UK so far? Uh, not too bad, not too bad except the weather. Yeah, It's good for the middle of summer, isn't it? I thought you told me you'd been here before. You must be used to this. Yeah, I'm used to it, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not expecting high weather for the weather, but uh, looking forward to the cricket. And you guys have come over from Melbourne, that's right? Yeah, correct, mate, yep. And uh, the big rugby league game of no interest to you this morning, man, at all. It's, uh, it's all about the cricket. What do you expect to happen in this test match? I think uh, with England winning the toss and batting, the Aussies will uh, attack the pegs me, pretty early and no tr chance, try and, get a, try and uh, get a couple of early wickets. I think the Aussies will have a good day today. The ball will be swinging around and uh, they good, a really strong bowling attack, so they'll do well. Uh, obviously, last season, uh, last series down under 18 months ago, Mitchell Johnson was the star. Who do you think is going to do it for you this time round? Yeah, I think Mitchell Stark might be the, the one to go to now. He bowled, bowled so well in the World Cup, uh, obviously with a white ball, but it'd be good to see what he's got with the red ball. Well, just in case it doesn't go too well for you, boys, you are on the wrong end of the result here. You obviously got a few days in Cardiff now, nice hotel and a few nights out, presumably. Uh, that's definitely the plan, <laughs> and we've met a few of the locals who, have, uh, who are looking after us. So, no, we're here for, a, obviously, a good time, a bit of cricket, but also... Um, yeah, meet a few of the, of the locals and yeah, enjoy. Brad you. and Sarah, who for now are still on speaking terms. Brad, quite an even session that first one, or is that the English one in me thinking that? Oh, no, it was a great session. It's probably evenly poised. Um, England sort of got on top at the end there towards lunch, but I'm looking forward to the next session. OK, and of course you're with us for two days, so um, 45 more sessions of this. How are you finding the game so far? Um, yeah, it's better than I thought. <laughs> And the atmosphere in the ground has been incredible, so obviously full capacity today, 16,000 people. Has it been quite lively where you were, or is it quite, quite subdued at the start? It's getting better. <laughs> yeah, it's getting better. Okay. Yeah. The guy with the trumpet turned up after drinks, so there's been a bit more noise since then. Great stuff, and you guys, are, uh, you're over here for four months and continuing to stay over here. So uh, in that time, England have improved somewhat, haven't they? When you first arrived and booked these tickets, you'd have thought... You were coming to see a start of a whitewash, but are you still thinking that, or have we impressed you against New Zealand? Oh, look, Australia's been in form as well, sort of against West Indies, but certainly England showed some great form in the one days against New Zealand, and yeah, it should be an even contest. I'm looking forward to it. Just one last question. Obviously, these series are often dominated by one man, be it a batsman like Alistair Cook all those years ago, or Mitchell Johnson last time out. I'll come to both of you. Who do you think is going to be the difference between the two sides? <laughs> I've given you an easy question. You can pick any player you want. Yuri, thanks for joining us. Two England fans. Uh, how do you think that went as a morning session? Yeah, it was all right. Um, didn't start too well, but uh, I think Root got us back in the game. Yeah, it's quite good. Yeah, it certainly was a good innings with him digging in there. And uh, what sort of target do you think England might want to look at by the close of play today, provided they're still all there? I think anywhere above 300 will be good. I don't think. It would be hard to defend anything below 300, really. And I think the Aussies will gain momentum if we're anywhere below 300. I know you guys are sat in separate parts of the stand, but but what's the atmosphere like? The, the, what is the atmosphere like where you are? Well, in the pavilion, yeah, it's, it's a great atmosphere. Um, obviously, it's not the same by the Barmy Army uh, in the grandstand, but it's still really good, yeah. So talk to you about the Barmy Army in the grandstand. Are they uh, in good voice this morning despite the three wickets? Yeah, well, they brought the trumpet out in the end, so that uh, got the crowd lifted. But, yeah, they're really fun. OK, Charlotte, Lauren, all the way from Western Australia, notoriously hot over, here, over there. <laughs> How are you finding the Cardiff weather today? It's not very nice. Prefer yeah. our Perth weather. Much nicer, although it can be a bit hot. And you're proudly sporting the Perth Scorcher shirt today. I presume uh, you're a Scorchers fan as well. Uh, just the one, just for one Scorchers player in the side, not two today. Uh, yeah, just just Vegas, no uh, Sean Marsh. Um, I would like to say I'm a Scorchers fan a little bit, but I'm more a Knots Knots fan really. Okay. Okay. So. And uh, so talk to me about Voges then. So he's been in and out of this squad and he's obviously scoring runs uh, for Western Australia domestically, forced his way back in. What do you think he can do to England on a pitch like this? I think um, he's played a lot in England, a lot of county cricket, so hopefully he can use his experience in that to um, score plenty of runs and I'm hoping to see him get 100 tomorrow. 